209 650 dovetail slide. Uh, we're going to draw this shape right here. Right? We're going to make it 4 inches wide. This is going to be 1.5. The distance from here to here is going to be 2.5 and a 45 degree angle on that. So let's go into here. We're going to click on new. It was it in inches. Start there. Click this. Sketch first. Line here to here, here, up here, and here. Going to draw an angle on there. Come across. Draw this down like that. Sketched easily. Going to do a, con a coincident constraint between the midpoint of that and the origin point. That becomes blue. This distance across here was 4. Alright, this distance right here was 1.5. This distance from here to here was, um, let's see that distance. I was trying to do it in degrees, so I didn't, I didn't fully constrain it. So do a parallel constraint between this one and this one. All right. And I'll over constrain it parallel, parallel constraint between this and this. Hmm. Interesting. So let's do a horizontal constraint. Oh, I can't do that because this is on here. Right click on that, delete. Now we can do a parallel constraint between here and here. All right, wait a minute. Parallel between this one and this one. Now they're parallel. Looks like I added a little piece right there. I'm going to go in here, click on that, and delete it. Do a coincident constraint between this endpoint here and that endpoint. Oh, let's get real fun and we're going to do a collinear constraint. Say that this line and this line have to be equal with one another. We'll go in here, put a dimension on from here to here. That this is 2.5 and we want to put an angle on here so click from here to here and say that this is 45 all right so then if we say that this line and this line are equal that should finish that up all right perfect finish the sketch extrude it I forget how far it was I think it was eight inches yep so we'll extrude it eight inches and there it is right there <coughs> So we extrude that to 8 inches and it's good out that far. Alright, so now we'll click save 209-6-50 dove. Oops. Yeah, dovetail slide. Dovetail's fine. Alright, save. I'll replace mine. Okay. We'll go here, click new. We're going to down to anti inch IDW. Once again, we're going to change the sheet size here. Right click, edit the sheet, and we'll go down to C size. Oops, my own hand was messing me up. Base view. That's not, I want that to be my right side view, so let's change this to that's going to be our front view. Even though it says left, it's okay. Make that our right side view, our top view, and an isometric view up here. Click OK. I'm going to click on this one, and I'm going to change the scale of this to half scale so it fits in there. <clears throat> there was very few dimensions we needed to add to this. We were going to do a, oops, we want to do a dimension that tells us how wide that is. We want to do a dimension that goes from here to here. We want to do a dimension that goes from here to here. Oops, I probably messed that up because I got the midpoint. So we'll go from that line to this line. I must have messed it up. Line to line. Put that in there like that. We can do a dimension that tells us from here to here, 2.5. So now we've got that figured out. All right. And then the only other thing we had left was the entire length of the part. Let's so put that in here so we know that. All right. So we got that part of it figured out. Go to File. Go to Eye Properties. We're going to go ahead and change the title of this to Dovetail. Oops. All caps. Dovetail Slide. And put our company name here. And <clears throat> part number. Description. Click apply. Close. We're good there. Double click the mouse wheel. Save. Yep. Go ahead and I'll write it. And export PDF file. We should be good. There's our PDF. Submit that in Blackboard.